And hello and welcome to another edition of the Idiot's Guide to Identifying Iron Cross Second Class. In this episode, we have Hammer and Son, who goes by the PKZ number 55. And before we get right to it, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And just so that you don't miss any of the exciting episodes, please don't forget to turn on that notification button. The Iron Cross Second Class by Hammer and Son, or PKZ55. I find that this cross is so ugly that she's beautiful. Why do I call it an ugly cross? First of all, the workmanship is not perfect. It's far from perfect compared to the other makers' iron crosses, and it lacks a little bit of finesse that you'd expect from a German-made product. But again, it's so ugly. It turns out to be such a lovely cross and deserves to be part of any collector's collection. Right, first things first, how easy is it to recognize a cross by HS or 55? One of the features to look for is that long tip on the number three on the reverse, and this can also be found in the reverse, I'll show you later. This cross in particular, which is found in my collection, does not have a very clear uh, date, as you can see it in that picture. It seems like the color black has been a boast on the date, so making that date look funny and not as clear as it's supposed to be. Remember I said, it's so ugly, it's pretty. This is one of those reasons, I guess, at least on the cross that I have. And the long nose on number one, as you can see this, this is found on the reverse. And we're also pointing to that long tip on the head of number three. There you go. Once again, it's that long tip on the number three on the reverse, which can also be found on the reverse or the front. And one more thing that I've noticed, at least again, on this sample of the 55, is that unique intersection on the outer corners. But on this sample, you can clearly see it and you can find it all around in all the corners where those points intersect. The reverse and the obverse of the Iron Cross Second Class by Hammer and Son, who also goes by the PKZ number 55. As I mentioned earlier, she's so ugly, she's pretty. In some samples, the beads around the frame are really rough. Perhaps when I do get one of those, I'll make another video, make comparisons between the difference in the beads and the way the frames were designed. But yeah, in my opinion, Hammer and Son is known by the roughness in its finish and its design, which totally, totally makes it unique and a very desirable cross. There you go, guys. Uh, another episode, another cross. And we'd like to thank everyone who continues to subscribe and support and use our channel as references when they post on comments or just to review or just to get familiar with these crosses. Many thanks to all my colleagues and collectors and friends who continue to contribute in our discussions and our opinions and our observations of these crosses. They don't like to be mentioned, but you know who you are. Thanks a ton, and for everyone in the community who continues to support us by just being there, thank you. And with that, we will see you guys next week. Bye.